welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here or it's just kind of been a while, uh, my name is Emma. I'm currently an ESL teacher in Bangkok, Thailand, and I've been super bad about filming vlogs and posting them. Um, just haven't been super inspired to create lately. I've been doing a lot on Instagram, which I've been loving, but YouTube I've kind of pushed to the back burner yet again, but um, you guys kept asking me and like DMing me like when is your next video and I'm like okay I should probably film a video so I'm gonna do that today. Today's been a super chill morning so far as you guys have seen. Slept in, had some coffee, read my book, um, talked to one of my friends, deleted some photos, got ready, like I don't even know what I did this morning but very very nice. Um, however it's now 2 p.m. and I'm like okay <laughs> time to go. So today's vlog is just going to be a day in my life because I'm doing some fun things. Today I haven't really played tourist in Bangkok in quite a while so that's what I'm going to do today. Um, I'm going to head back to like the Chinatown area which I don't really think I've been in that area since February. I do have a motorbike but I think I'm going to drive to a subway station park there and then take the subway down because I haven't really driven in that area before so I don't know what parking is going to be like in traffic. It's a very busy area of the city so I feel like that's just kind of the safe option. Plus I want to be able to just like walk around and do my thing so um, I think I figured out what station I'm going to go to and then there's this beautiful temple that I want to walk by. I think it's still closed. Gonna head to a cafe to read a book for a bit and then I'm gonna go to this really cool like park bridge type thing that I've been wanting to go to for months uh, for sunset. So I'm really excited about that because that's been on my list to do for quite a while. So that's what my day is going to look like. I'm excited to bring you guys along. You guys just love seeing my life here in Bangkok slash Thailand and I wish that I was better about capturing it in video form. But Follow me on Instagram if you guys do not because I turn a lot of my like live photos into videos and so I've been posting more like reels and just stuff on there and like TikToks and stuff like that so I have been like posting my life just not on here so I'm sorry but it's just it just demands a lot. Also I did film a vlog um I don't really know what it was I think it was like mid-December maybe and everything I talked about though basically didn't happen because like I was supposed to go home to the US for Christmas to see my family and my friends but Thailand kind of shut back down again with the new variant and so I was just like you know what like I just don't really feel safe going home like with COVID so I'm gonna stay here and so I went to this island my favorite island Koh Phangan. it's beautiful like some of the most gorgeous beaches I've ever been to and so I went there by myself, like had a really good trip by myself, met some friends, um, and one of them actually had COVID and gave it to me. So I got COVID here. I was like, how ironic is it that I didn't go home because of COVID and then I went on a trip by myself to like just kind of reconnect and reground and just like prep for the new year and I freaking got COVID. So luckily um, I am double vaxxed, even though it's been over six months since I got my last one, but I had no symptoms. Like I have to take the like ATK rapid test for work um, like once or twice a week. And so I took one on Tuesday of last week and it like no second line, like totally normal. And then I look at it like 20 minutes later and I'm like, holy crap there's a line and I called my friend I was like what does this mean like am I positive like I don't think so and then my friend had messaged me that night though and he was like yo like some of our friends have COVID like they tested positive and I was like shoot so I had gotten a test and taken it and it came back negative and then the next day it was positive so threw me for a loop for sure um so I've been home from work uh, for about a week and a half now and so I got like a PCR test which also came back positive obviously so I've just been isolating for the past week and a half um, although I am testing negative on ATKs and I don't think I'm uh, contagious anymore obviously I still wear my mask and everything but I think that I'm good to go because it's been like the I think it's like seven to ten days now five to ten they keep changing it I don't really know but um, I think I came in contact with it it's been like two and a half weeks so I'm all good to go but I just thought it was hilarious but anyways thankfully I was asymptomatic like I didn't have any symptoms at all 
I was actually getting over a cold and so I thought it was just that and allergies and then I tested positive and I was like what in the heck no symptoms which I'm really grateful thankful for um, a number of my other friends had it and they all have like coughs fevers body chills and aches one even lost their sense of smell so I think I was just kind of lucky that I didn't get it um, but I've also had like no reactions to any of the vaccines either so I don't really know but obviously very grateful for that because I know that that's not the case for everyone um but it's kind of still odd to me though that like I had COVID like I got I went two years avoiding it and then I got it but so that's my exciting slash not exciting update because I've been at home so I've had a very chill relaxing last week and a half like just doing my thing I haven't had a lot to work on for work because I did everything the week previously um so i've just been like reading books lots of sunsets lots of phone calls with friends and family which has been so nice to catch up with people i haven't talked to in a while um so yeah it's been really good but that's my update it's now time to head out for the day i'm super excited um so i'm going to get prepped i'll show you guys my outfit i'm looking basic today i'm not really gonna bring much because i don't want to tote things around all day because it's hot in the city it's very very hot um cool season gone don't know her anymore so that's why i'm like i'm gonna need a cafe midday to kind of get out of the heat and cool down ready to go job of like updating you guys throughout the day so i hope you guys enjoyed that little montage of downtown i forgot how much i loved that area of bangkok like i'm going back with a friend actually tomorrow and i'm so excited because it's just like wild to me how different each section of the city is like obviously where i live is very different than like the ekamai tongloa like sukhumvit like expat area which is very different than like downtown area like there's just so many different parts of bangkok and i just love this part it's definitely like a little bit older the architecture is beautiful there's lots of like plants and whatnot scattered around and growing on buildings it's just like it's amazing i love it i was like having the best time like just listening to music walking doing my thing and i just had like the best day and I'm so grateful that I freaking live here, that this is my city. Like I, it's just amazing. So I had a really, really good day. Um, I just got back to my apartment, probably like 30 ish minutes ago. And I showered, which felt really, really nice. Always does after walking around the city because it's freaking hot here. Um, but yeah, I'm getting all of my veggies out to make dinner. So I actually changed up what I have then cooking for dinner because I was making like the same thing over and over and over again and I still am but it's like a different flavor <laughs> so I'll show you guys but I just have all of my my veggies my tofu um beans noodles and then I've been adding some taco spice to it and lime juice and it's really really good I think tomorrow I'm gonna have to go to the market maybe Monday 
um but yeah i literally just had such a fun day it's so fun like just being a tourist and walking around and like figuring out where things are which obviously like this area i've been to um a number of times i actually went to the hostel that i stayed at my first time in bangkok because there's like a little cafe on the bottom and had a little coffee and read my book um which is incredible it's called what is it called the wind up bird chronicles it's something with the c at the end i don't remember and it's by a japanese author and a friend told me about it and i haven't read really anything like this it kind of reminds me of like the native american literature and books that i read back in uni when i took a class on that but it's just it's a really really neat read so um yeah it was a good day but now i'm like i'm super hungry and i'm gonna cook dinner then my friend and i are gonna watch season finale of season one euphoria we started it earlier this week i think we finished it so fast but i'm excited to finish that it's such a heartbreaking sad story and show but i feel like it's really good and takes me back to high school and i'm like whoa like all the stupid shit we used to do it's wild um yeah also i got a traditional like well i don't know like kind of traditional but it's for chinese new year which is february 1st and we're supposed to dress up for school so i got this pretty red and gold one i haven't tried it on yet i hope it fits i like asked her if it was the right size because it's an extra extra large um because the sizing here is pretty it runs very very small and she like measured my waist and then <laughs> measured my like hips and she was, and then she measured the dress and she was like, yeah, like it's about the same, you should be good. So here's dinner, it's super easy to make. I just fry up the uh, potatoes, tofu and onion first because I feel like that takes longer to cook. And then I add all of the other veggies. So I have tomato, cucumber, bok choy, um, broccoli, and then some black beans. And then I let that all fry up and then I add the noodles at the end just to kind of warm them up, mix them all in, add salt, pepper, and the taco seasoning, and that's it. Super easy, so delicious. I also top it with lime juice. I am now going to eat this and call my friend for a bit, and then we'll watch our episode. I thought she were dead. Okay, but she's been sober for like...